Hello Mac Warriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online where we are playing the Rifleman today. I wanted to shoot some long range shotguns today and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So let's take a look at the Rifleman 3C. Now this variant has four ballistic hardpoints and we are using it to put four LB2X autocannons into it. We have a great range of about a uh, thousand meters range. This is incredibly good. So what we want to be doing with this here is we want to set up a firing line somewhere. We want to be behind the firing line and then shoot into the fight that is on the front line and help our teammates out with that. Why? Because first of all, we have the range, we don't have to be in the thick of the fight necessarily, unless we don't find an angle, then we have to reposition to actually get into the fight. And on top of that, we are running an XL engine, which means one side tower also destroyed is our death. And therefore, play it a bit more conservatively, play it a bit more as a second line fire support. But the cool thing is, we have decent damage over range with a great rate of fire, and we're gonna shake the cockpits like crazy today. We also run four ER small lasers as backup weapons, and cool thing about it is we only run 12 double heat sinks, but the mech is cold as hell. No, hell is actually quite hell. You know what I mean, right? So it is pretty cold. We can shoot all of the lasers over time and we can deal some additional damage at about 300 meters range. Actually, 250, 300 meters range when we are in a close range scenario, amplify our damage a bit, but we mostly rely on our auto cannons to deliver the damage. Cool thing about LBX auto cannons is they have a higher crit chance and they deal double the crit damage, which means if you have enemies that have no armor anymore, then you just hold into it and then the inner parts will just blow up like crazy. You will destroy heat sinks and weapons systems and, and, and electronics like crazy. Also, there is a good chance that ammo will blow up with LBX autocannons. So, let's take a look at the skills before we get into the games. And as you can see, we have invested a lot into the firepower tree here. I wanted magazine capacity so I can shoot more often and I can engage early without, you know, worrying about my ammo count in the late game. We also have laser duration, although I gotta say it's not necessarily needed. I mean, four ear small lasers, it's debatable whether you need laser duration for that or not because they are just support weapons. But anyway, on on top of that, there's a good chunk of survivability too, because we have no arms really to shield us with. The arms are very, very high mounted, so our side torsos are vulnerable. And as I was saying, we are running an XL engine, so protect your mech with additional hit points coming from skeletal density and armor hardening. On top of that, no operations needed, because again, the weapons are very cold. We have rated deprivation skill though, so that we can break line of sight and therefore locks. And then we are running a double cool shot, just in case, and a double artillery strike today. That's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. If you have that don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, now it's time to hit the battlefield all right first game of the day we are playing the caustic valley we are playing skirmish we are going here over to the left side because our assault mech spawn here and maybe our enemies will nascar into us and then we're gonna give them hell so that's the battle plan here you can see ppcs are already flying yo these guys don't like our mad cat so guys uh, come over here just build a firing line and let them crash into us and we kill them all and that's what we're gonna be doing so i'm gonna be a little bit uh, further behind because i am a long range mech i have a long range lord peeking is not good guys no don't peek let them come to us. You will be the one getting all of the shots from all of the firepower sitting behind that ridge. We want them to come in one by one and then give them hell. That's what we're going to be doing. Like that. All right. See? That's way more damage than we can deal to them. Don't peek. Let them come. Exactly. Don't peek. Let them come. Don't peek. Okay. 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 I'm going to take that down. LB2 fire on a UAV. And we got it. All right. Cool. I think there's somebody on my left side. Yeah. We have an Arctic Wolf on the left flank. Okay, wow, okay, we got some damage in bad. That was good. But yeah, firing line situations are the best we can provoke here. The absolute best. Because we have that ridge, and if the enemies are growing impatient, we're gonna get things done. Let's take that UAV down. Okay. I mean, that's what I'm here for right now. Giving some fire support, making the missiles stop. How did the UAV get in here anyway? There's, uh, there's gonna be a stealth mech, right? There has to be. Absolutely. Still, um... Uh, no, not really. Uh, our best bet is to stay a little bit behind the firing line so that my frontliners will attract the fire. I really want to be in that fight so bad, guys. Okay, another <laughs> UAV down. Okay, there's a shift to the right side, so people are going more and more towards the center. People are doing uh, a cut across. Okay, cool. Uh, it seems like we're cutting across the cauldron, guys. Don't get lost, don't get fallen behind. We're gonna move right side now, seemingly. I uh, just wanna... Give my people some information of what's going on here. Yeah, people grew impatient. They just wanted to be in the fight. Guys, patience. All right. So how do we help out here? I think we're going to go over here, get the uh, hunchback a little bit of hell. He is basically dead. Is he? He is almost dead. 
got him. Finally. It took a while. But uh, I also dropped an artillery strike on his position, so I gotta be careful now. Oh, look at that. Hey, Kodiak. Ooh, yeah, I need to push over here to regroup with my teammates, though. Oh, yeah, about that. He's not dead yet. He's not dead. He's just shut down, guys. So keep that in mind. And now we are in the fight, and now I think the brawl is on. Hi, Mr. Rifleman. Yeah, you have a nice position. We're gonna do some Inner Sphere against Clan Rifleman shooting. Down he goes, six and two. Do we turn around? I mean, we are running XL. I should not turn around at all. No, yeah, he's dead. Next. Oops, what was that? Dropped another artillery strike, by the way. Okay, he shut down. Oh, he gave up, I don't know. RT strike is calming down. See, guys, that is it. You just don't have to run in circles all the time like that. You just you just stay in the center and then you find an angle on your enemies. Oh, that's LRMs. That's a lot of them. Hi, mister. Oh, God. This is just not okay. Nice. 10 and 4. Turning around again. Enemies behind us. There is Mr. Other Rifleman. That we hit a lot already. So let's keep that angle. Keep that kill. And down they go. Very nice, guys. That was pretty good. And here you can see, firing lines are actually something that you can use to lure your enemies into a big bulk of firepower and then just to obliterate them. And then, you know, you find an angle yeah, on them. Man. Cool. So we got three killing blows. We got five assists, two kill most damage dealt, 610 damage done. That's because we were not really active in the early game, but I wanted to wait for them. Anyway, we had eight components destroyed. And overall, that was pretty high damage. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right. Second game of the day. We are playing Solar City. We are playing Dominum nomination and we will I don't know more or less go to the right side seemingly yeah people are actually moving over there already I don't want to be a part of that I don't want to actually go to the left side but hey maybe we can get something done in the center of this whole situation so yeah well I will follow them I I have to I have to as much as it hurts me it's gonna be something like a I mean I don't know if it's gonna be an SCAR we don't know yet so let's not judge early we might just set up in the center and get something done there so let's check it out guys I want to get on a ramp ideally so let's try to find some high ground position and see if we can get something done there and you can see my people are moving more or less to the left side now that's pretty good yeah I like it obviously a lot of people want the high ground look at that the ramp is already full oh we have low signal in Delta 4 all right, that is a flea. Yeah, it's a flea. It's always a flea. Fleas are so common lately. So let's see what we can do. Shooting over to the other side. Stuff is in the center. Okay, hit him a bunch. Is there another guy coming? I wonder. I really wonder. I think I saw um, an enforcer. I think it was an enforcer. Also, gonna watch this ramp because enemies might do the same thing that I do here. There's another guy. Hi. Okay, well, you know, we dealt some damage, that's fine. We're gonna wait for the stragglers to shoot them, and then we're gonna help out the friends. Yeah, let's do it now. Okay, help out the friends. Ouchie. I got hit in the back big time. I don't know if it was friendly or if it was somebody behind us. Hard to tell, like really hard to tell. Um, yeah, let's get down. And let's help out against the piranha. Can we? Oh, that was friendly. Okay. Unfriendly, friendly fire. <laughs> oh, and seemingly we have a big, big firing line standing here. All right. Um, Mr. Atlas, don't do that to me. Oh, it's another Atlas. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Big firing line. Also enemies in our backs. And those enemies are seemingly assault max. Okay, let's take that side torso off of him. Okay, SRMs are done. Okay. That's good, man. That's good. Nobody else is shooting, though, seemingly. Let's get the Atlas down. We can take him, I believe. Wow, that's so much damage already. And we are so hot right now. Okay, Mr. Zeus, I don't want you at all. Oh, let's get out of here. Let's not get killed, by the way, because we took so much armor damage already. However, our damage output was incredible here. That was really good. Now we need to kind of push them. Uh, was that somebody there? I don't know. Yeah, there's somebody staying. Standing. Hello, guys. You got ECM. I got almost my mech down. Guys, what's what's, what's with the backfire here? <laughs> or was it artillery? I don't know. Could have been both. Yeah, I want to I wanna back up from this. I want to go here to the side where we have a bit more room to fight, I believe. And also a bit more... Oh, that's, a, that's the Atlas. It's a stealth Atlas. Kill the Atlas. He's almost down. Come on, push him. Ah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got so much damage on him already. Got him. Perfect. Somebody was hiding here. 
Uh, is he killable? Yeah, he is. He's certainly killable. Bam, 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 bam. Down he goes. Cool. So, four and one. Looking great. Here's the piranha again. Got him. Nice. Perfect. Now, wrap around here. I have no vision. I have no information on what's going on on the right side. We might get backstab, but I want to join the fight again. Um, sure. I mean, six and two. This is already pretty good. Let's wrap around here. Help out our team. The Sun Spider. Oh, sorry. The Stormcrow is already doing what I had in mind. And yeah, you can see here. We have some enemies around. Hello, Mr. Rifleman. You are dead, technically. Am I dead? I don't know. I might be. Ho oh, ho ho! What a fight! Now the pincer move is coming through. I'm getting shot down here. What is that fight, guys? Can you tell me? I don't know. It's crazy. It's incredible. And that's one of the last enemies. 11 and 3! Holy crap, that firing line was so good! <laughs> that was amazing, guys! So we have a UAV up. We have nobody in the circle. You can see the green numbers. All the green icons are kind of green right now, which means that uh, the last enemy is either AFK or it is um, stealthy somewhere or it is... I don't know. We will see. We're gonna tick down the countdown, I believe. Yeah, man. That was such a great fight. Yeah, see, I have no idea where the last guy is. Maybe he might be AFK. Okay. So, six seconds and then we got it in the bag. Oh, wait, there he is. It's a Kodiak. Oh, hello, Kodiak. I mean, there's nothing uh, we can do anymore. Um, I think, yeah, he might have been AFK, which is a shame because our enemies could have really needed that Kodiak. That would have been a lot of damage. Anyway, that was a thousand here. Come on. 800, all right, fine. We got one killing blow, four kill most damage dealt, 900, uh, sorry, 900 damage, nine assists, 800 damage done, 380 taken with seven components destroyed. That, my friends, was your daily dose for today. That was the Rifleman with LB2s. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.